I think the whole top three in this list are magical. But there's something extra special about Goat Mountain. We're headed to the South Cascades, to the Mount St. Helens area for an 11 mile round trip hike that will put us to the test with a 2,400 foot elevation gain. I think for me, the most awe-inspiring thing was the vastness of distance between the other ridges in the wilderness. It just felt like you were thousands of miles in the air and could see everything. This is definitely one that you wanna take your binos along for. Or if you're like me, you've got a spotting scope on a tripod. There's endless things to explore in this way and everywhere you look is something else that'll raise the bar on the experience. I also love the variety and all the different mountain views you get with this one. On a good day, you're catching Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier, Mount Adams, and even Mount Hood off in the distance. I did, however, find it a little ironic that at no point during the hike did I see one single goat. I still don't know how that happened. I was also super determined to find an elk at Deadman's Lake and figured since it was a pretty warm day, I'd catch one cooling off in the lake. I wasn't so lucky there either. This hike is on my list to do annually and I catch something new every single time I go. I wanna personally thank you for watching this series with us. We hope you had as much fun as we did and we hope to see you out on the trails sometime in the future. Please check out our other playlists for other fun countdowns just like this one. We'll see you on the next countdown. Bye for now.